One of the coolest things about this truck is you don't actually need to be inside to drive it. You can operate it remotely. Michelle and I each need to remotely operate the vehicle to get from there to that flag. And whoever gets closest wins. This challenge mimics how NASA and Lunar Outpost will remotely operate this truck on the moon from Earth. Instructions will go from mission control, travel all the way to the moon, and then with a couple seconds delay, tell the truck where to go and what to do. These instructions will come in two parts. One will tell it how far to go, forwards and backwards, and the other left and right. You tell it the point that you want it to go to, but the truck needs to figure out how to best get to that spot. It can tell where things like rocks and craters are, and then needs to do its best to avoid them. That's incredibly useful when it's all alone on the moon, but it does make where it goes a little bit unpredictable. But similar to the real choices that space agencies make about how to move rovers on the moon or Mars, that's why they've designed this truck to have some level of autonomy. So instead of giving it waypoints 10 meters to 5 meters, which is a very difficult way to operate, you say, hey, I want you to accomplish this mission. This is the big goal of autonomous space truck robots. It could mean work on the moon could continue even without people, opening up a whole new level of lunar exploration. 